Are we going to tell the people? We do it. We're, we're just refilming this episode again. Welcome back to take two of Welcome just back. the fit tip. Take two. <laughs> we got about halfway through before we realized we weren't recording. So the let's audio do it wasn't again. recording. We have visual, but no audio. So. Welcome back to just the tip. Yeah, just the fit tip. Just the tip of fitness. Just the tip of fitness, where we yeah. break down fitness myths and yep. give you information and fun facts. Not just myths. Mm. Fun facts. Anything, little bits and pieces about training and fitness and health and all mm -hmm. that good mm -hmm. stuff. Well, what are we going over today, Nevin? Today's episode on just the fit tip. We are talking about our uh, warm-ups for pussies. Warm-ups for pussies. That, that is, is a good rude. question. It's a rude question. It is a rude question. However, just, just for all the people who are going to get upset by that, uh, the, the word pussies, it is actually shorthand for the word pusillanimous, which means to be timid or weak, someone who is lacking courage or determination. It has nothing to do with the female anatomy. anatomy. Google it. And, there you go. And, and, and let's get on with it. And let's get on with it, guys. So, so our warm-ups for pussies. Well, you, if you've been hanging around, you know, certain athletic circles long enough or like the real men's men or some of these just weird guys. that I know the type. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know the type. You'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you don't see a lion warming up before it goes out and kills mm, its mm, prey. Mm, mm, you don't. Uh, you don't. That person's probably an idiot. <laughs> but, yeah. Here's a fun fact. You're not a lion. <laughs> You're All right? not a lion. You're not a lion. Animals also can't go to the doctors when they tear their ACLs. They That's usually right. just die. They usually lie down and get eaten by something, yeah. um, ass first until they die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't even kill them first. They're just yeah, yeah. animals are savage. All right. Yep. Bunch of savage nature out there. Yes. Um, so, our warm ups uh, for pussies? No, absolutely not. There's a huge amount of benefits. I know you're a, uh, you're an animate fan. Anyone of who knows up. me knows that I love my warm ups and all of my mobility stuff. It's incredibly important to prep your body for any heavy things that you do. Really, any time that you load your body up. Um, I like to give this analogy to people sometimes um, in terms of their like rotator cuffs. Why it's important to ro warm up your rotator cuffs? Think about them as little pieces of bacon, and if you get cold bits of bacon, it just tears apart. When it's warm, it's a little stringier and stretchier, and everything's warmed up and works better. Oh. It's kind of kind of the same thing. You know, right? I like thinking of bacon. It makes me feel good. <laughs> it makes me feel warm inside. Yeah, yeah. So it's important to warm up for very, very many reasons. Yeah. We're going to go through some of them right now. Absolutely. So I think what we, we just got? started off with, you know, it's great for injury prevention, right? So it's preparing oh, yeah. your joints and your muscles mm -hmm. for the demands of the exercise that you're about to do. Cook that bacon. I cook yeah. that bacon, yeah. <laughs> Warms everything up. You can't go into heavy stuff cold. You can't go for a run cold. You need blood in your joints and your muscles and everything firing and working right before you do the hard stuff. Otherwise, the hard stuff hurts you. Which leads you right into the next uh, point, which is improved performance. 100%. So by warming up, you are bringing your heart rate up, mm -hmm. your blood flow increases, you are priming your nervous system to be this able is, to... Uh, yeah, the concept is called arousal and it works on a parabola. And you want to be warmed up and primed. And there's there's a certain point. So you warm up, you perform a little bit better, let's say 80, 90%. You warm up, like 90, 95%. You warm up and you're at 100% right before the race, the, the event, the whatever it is, right? You can also like overdo it, overstimulate yourself, and then you see diminishing returns. But the, the idea is to warm yourself up until you're at 100% fighting fit shape, so to speak. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, for anyone that's lifted weights and done heavy sessions, there's a reason usually why your second and third working set feel better than your first working set. Mm -hmm. It's because your central nervous system, all of your joints and muscles are getting prepared and uh, to actually perform at that level. It's the reason why you don't see people get out of their car, walk straight to the deadlift bar, put 305 kilos on it, and then do a PB. I only did that with 300. So <laughs> it, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't way. work that way. No. Um, mental preparation as well. So warming yep. up gives people a time to mentally prepare yep. for things. Yep, yep, yep. Um, in terms of visualization um, or just like focusing on whatever task they have ahead of them. Which I think is probably as important, I would say, equally as important as the physical preparation. Because if your head's not in it, you don't perform. That's right. Yeah. It's true. I think some people are really stunted by that bit, and that's really important to get. Get, get your head in the, in the game. Get your head yeah. in the game. Yeah, get in the zone. And then what else have we got? Uh, reduce soreness. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so you know, the more you warm up, and the same goes for sort of cool downs. I know cool downs are different from warm ups, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. It's the, it's the opposite. It's the cooling down of the muscles as opposed to the warming up of the muscles. But it's the same thing. You get, I, 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 I do a lot of mobility with uh, a lot of my clients, and people who are really, really tight, and they don't have good mobility through the hips, ankles, knees, that sort of stuff. They initially pull up quite sore because everything's so tight. You're not just working against resistance of the external loads, but also the resistance and tension in your own body. And mm. once everything starts to warm up and loosen up and just work, 
better, it works better. So it doesn't hurt. When things work well, they work well. They don't hurt. They don't hurt you. So that's kind of the goal there is to get everything working well at 100% efficiency so that when you perform, you perform better. Yeah, and I think that if you are thoroughly warmed up and you've had a nice level of high performance, um, mm. that definitely is going to reduce the amount of soreness you had the next day if you were to just go in there cold and yeah. it worked really yeah. hard. 100%. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty, pretty self-explanatory one. No, warm-ups are not for pussies and they will not make you... What? What? Pussy ladder... Pussillanimous. Pussillanimous. Which means to be timid or weak. That's right. Just because you're doing your warm-ups, it doesn't make you a, a, a pussy, all right? Okay. Everyone warms up. The best people in the world... Do your warm-ups. They warm up. I warm up for everything now. Do you, now. Now. Important distinction. Do your warm-ups. Do your warm-ups, <laughs> everyone. very important. And we'll see you next time on Just a Fit Tip. See you then. The tip of fitness. Stop, stop it. It's making me uncomfortable. Just, just the tip of our fitness. The fitness. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah.